and dictating to the offense. First and goal. Williams for a yard. Kenny Clark makes the stop. Niners have gained only 35 yards tonight on offense. Hand ball to the fullback use check. Packers with only one timeout. He's the use two. Second and ten. And look out, Garoppolo loses the ball. That's it's a, a live football, and it's picked up. Kenny Clark created it, and Campbell picks it up. Let's take a look. Even if he yep. threw it, he threw it backwards. Rolling on the field, Green Bay ball. Little doubt. And no contact was made with that hand. Nothing forced him to throw it backwards other than the fact that Kenny Clark was getting ready to hit him. Back to Harris, met at the line, pushed back. Actually never got to the line. Kenny Clark and others. In catches was a Steeler franchise record for a running back. Now he carries it for two. Of Heath Miller, who spent a large part of his career connecting with. Quarterback friendly, right? Yep. And that's just for a yard to Harris. Second down and three. It's Mixon swallowed up at the 32 yard line. Mixon in the backfield on first down. Fake toss to Mixon. Burrow rolling right under pressure. Fires downfield. By Adrian Amos. Kenny Clark with the pressure. Amos with the pick. That one Burrow wants to have back. Auden Tate in motion. On third down, it is P. Ryan, and he will not get there. Wow. Kenny Clark I've been made so, the play. I've been so impressed with Kenny Clark, not just this game. I watched him against Pittsburgh, where he was extremely disruptive. And they look to throw again. He's in trouble and sacked by Kenny Clark. One of the top interior linemen in the NFL gets to fields way back at the 44. When he exited the game earlier, we talked about he could arguably be their best player on defense. He just straight up wins this matchup on Cody Whitehair. A nice counter. They're down 15. Packers bring in an extra man. Fields in trouble. And sacked again by Clark again. Months ago, you know, Kenny Clark wins again. You know, give him credit. He's got it taken over this drive, but. You got to understand the situation, Jay, right? You got to understand, I don't need to pick up the first down. I just got to pick up some commitment. But he's going to go ahead and do this stuff like seven times a day. It's in trouble now. He's able to get it away. Well, that was some kind of pressure by Kenny Clark to force the throw away. Now it'll be third and eight. And Kenny Clark's just going to dominate the left side over 68 right there. And you can see the speed and the attack angle he takes. Really impressive when you turn the tape on with Kenny Clark. On the fake. Pressure from Clark again. Cousins sees it, throws it incomplete. Boy, Kenny Clark. Watch Kenny Clark. I know it, we sound like broken records here. They're having a hard time blocking him up front. I mean, he has been a dominant force. As good as it gets. Big mistake by Green Bay. Cook up the middle and... Tackled by guess who? Third quarter. That is deflating for the Rams. Here's Henderson, and the play is made by big Kenny Clark. 97, Kenny Clark, he splits this double team, and, I mean, that's just terrific. And, you know, for a big guy, that's what he's asked to do, but he also is asked them on Thanksgiving night. Third down and 10 here for Stafford and the Rams. And Stafford is sacked. Sacked by Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark, and I mean, what a year he's having. I mean, he's just a, an absolute force. And here's the twist. You see Clark, they come around, and Kingsley Kiki, they, that's the game they run. 
And then he winds up getting matched up one on one on Corbett, the right guard. And they hand off. Tackle made by Kenny Clark. Fields from the pocket throws incomplete and the rapid touchdown scored by Chicago. They lead by eight. This drive begins with a one yard gain or next to nothing by David Montgomery. Center nose tackle Kenny Clark. I just think he has been one fantastic football player for a long time. He got a couple of sacks against Justin Fields the last time these two teams played. But job one always. Second and nine. Fields is going to run. Going to be taken down at the 13 yard line by Kenny Clark. Third and six upcoming. And this is their two gap technique. So watch the arm extension. They're not supposed to be rushing the passer here. Control, control, and if that quarterback runs, you go get him. Back to back, as good as you could do at the nose tackle position by Kenny Clark. Propped up to have a big playoff run. Third and 11, Fields has to jump to get it away, and the pass incomplete because the pressure was put on. On the nose right there. He has the ability to control everything inside, all those run plays, but aren't many nose tackles can get after the quarterback the way that this guy can. He has already had four sacks on the seat. Mayfield out of time. Down he goes. Preston Smith. Then on a quarterback, Kenny Clark. Here he comes. They're doubling on him. They got four hands on him, and yet he's able to split the double team. And that's what gets Mayfield moving, and then Smith comes in and finishes him off. That's four sacks for this Packer defense. Cousins. Maybe a little more running, and they start the half with Dalvin Cook inside, and that's only one yard. Doesn't go anywhere. Which means you have to run the football, and you've got a double team on Clark inside here. So you have to win. And yet there's Clark making the play. I, I, you know, what are you going to call? You're the offensive coordinator. <laughs> you tell me. You can't call anything. I mean, that that defense demands that you run the football, and they must win for Minnesota. Green Bay win, and they're the one seed. Second and five. Mannion setting up the screen. Cook with sidestep, but not much else. Only a yard. Eric Stokes. We talk so much about Kenny Clark inside, and more often than not, he just does not stop, and he's smart. Despite the double team, he could see the screen, and he's able to wiggle off the hook, and just enough to slow down Cook so his partners could get there.